guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our mac os development with the app kit tutorial series and in this particular tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the app delegate uh, file inside of our project as well as uh, explaining the various files inside of our project and then we're also going to talk about how exactly uh, how exactly we're going to go about writing our code and learning AppKit in this series. So, my apologies, sorry about that. Um, the first things first. Um, let's talk about the different files inside of our project, inside of Xcode. So inside of our project navigator, you can see we have, uh, we have, a, we have a, a few things. The top level uh, the topmost thing in our project navigator is our project. Uh, inside of that, inside of our XC proj file, um, you can change the build settings, the build phase settings, uh, all kinds of different stuff uh, you can change in there. Um, then we also have an entitlements file. This, uh, you shouldn't have to touch the entitlements file most of the time, but there are certain things that you will need uh, to modify it for, but they are very few and far between uh, in your day-to-day -day development. Um, when stuff like that comes along, I will warn you that we're going to edit that, but for now, just don't touch it. I <laughs> don't do anything with it. Um, now, we also have a viewcontroller.swift file. We will be using this file quite extensively. Uh, viewcontroller.swift is a subclass of NSViewController, which is an app kit class for using what are called view controllers. Now, we'll talk a little bit about what view controllers are uh, in another video when we actually start building our user interfaces. Uh, but just know that that is where a lot of our code is going to live. All right, and then finally, uh, well, finally we have two other, th we, have a f we have two other things that I wanna discuss with you. And the first thing being the assets, uh, .xc assets. Now this is where all of your app assets go, as the name implies. Uh, your app icon goes here, any custom color sets go there, uh, custom images, audio, video, whatever the case might be. Uh, if it's an asset for your app, that is where it goes. If you need like a JSON file or something uh, built into your app bundle for whatever reason for something, it doesn't go there. Okay, JSON files don't go in the assets. Um, uh, but everything else, like video, uh, images, icons, color sets, that go, all that stuff goes in there. And then finally, main.storyboard. Now, storyboards are a way for you to be able to drag and drop user interface components onto your uh, window that, that your app is going to display, or windows. Uh, that your app is going to display. So you can drag and drop user interface components, lay them out, uh, customize them in a graphical user interface uh, instead of in code. We're not gonna be using the storyboards. And the reason why we're not gonna be using the storyboards is because one, I can't use them, right? I'm blind, I can't see well enough to use them. And while they are accessible with voiceover, uh, it's a little bit finicky of an experience. It's not great with voiceover. So I generally stick with code. And two, if you know how to lay things out in code, you're gonna understand how things work when you lay them out uh, in the storyboard. And maybe there's just certain things that you need to modify in code that you can't modify in the storyboard. And I want you to be comfortable with being able to use code instead of the storyboard, right? So that is how we're going to do it. But um, 
we're not going to get rid of the storyboard file or change any project settings in the info p list or anything like that like you would with ios because if you were to go fully programmatic ui getting rid of the storyboard and stuff like that uh it'd be a little bit more involved to get your app working and you wouldn't get you wouldn't get some of the uh, things that you get if you leave the storyboard alone out of the box such as you wouldn't be able to close your window uh, or have any menu items or anything like that in the menu bar. You have to do that programmatically yourself. Um, whereas if you leave the storyboard alone, you get all that uh, already. So we're going to leave that be. Okay. Um, and then we'll just build our UI and code and not touch the storyboard. Finally, the app delegate. Now, what is the app delegate? Well, the app delegate is a file where your application starts. It's the starting point of your application. And this uses a, a communication pattern called delegation. Now, when, we, when we're talking about delegation, a delegate is pretty much a class that implements a specific protocol and provides implementations for specific methods where those methods are called elsewhere. And when those methods are called, the things that you specify specific methods should be able to do will be performed when they're called, right? We'll see more examples of delegation if you didn't understand that uh, as we go forward, such as using NS table views and, and NS collection view and stuff like that. But I'll point them out when, uh, while we're there. Now, let's actually take a look at the app delegate file. Let's take a look inside. So let's go into Xcode. First things first. We want to go into the navigator. And go into app delegate. Now, inside of App Delegate, the first thing you'll see is that we're importing a framework called Coco. Now, what is Coco? Well, Coco is a collection of frameworks. It's a framework on its own, but it's all, but it also imports implicitly uh, a bunch of other, a bunch of other frameworks such as AppKit uh, and Foundation. But, it does, but it's not just AppKit and Foundation. It includes many of the frameworks that you need to build a Mac OS applications, right? So leave that alone. We're go, uh, we want to import Coco. Then we have our class declaration. The, uh, the class is called app delegate. And this conforms to NS object. So this class can reach down and communicate with AppKit uh, and its inner workings. And then it also conforms to NS application delegate. Now that is this, now NS application delegate is a protocol that specifies uh, specific methods that you can uh, respond to over the life cycle of your application. Now, the first method that we have here is application did finish launching. This delegate method, which comes from NS application delegate, uh, is fired off whenever your application is finished launching. So when everything's loaded and all that kind of stuff, and you know, it shows up on the screen and all that. When it's when the launching sequence is finished for your application, this method is fired off. Now, inside of this method, you should initialize a specific bits of your application uh, and stuff like that. Now, the next method that we have here from NS application delegate that we're providing an implementation for is uh, 
application will terminate. Now, this method is called whenever the application is going to close. Right, so whenever the application closes, uh, you might want to tear down some specific initialization, uh, you know, initialization stuff, or some, or maybe close some resource access uh, and stuff like that. So you know, you're not causing memory leaks or anything like that. Uh, that kind of stuff would go in here. Now, there we go. Now, uh, the final method that you'll find in here is uh, is application supports secure restorable state. Now, what does this method do? Well, simply put, this method returns a boolean that will determine whether or not your application supports the secure restoration of application state. That, that's pretty much what that does. And if you go into Safari and look up this method in the documentation, it says pretty much the exact same thing. Now, now the thing about this particular delegate method is that it is only available in Mac OS 12 and above. So if you're on Big Sur or Catalina or anything like that, anything before Mac OS Monterey, you are not going to be able to see or use this method because it didn't exist until Mac OS 12. Right. So really, that, that just about does it for this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.